G'day guys, welcome to another episode. Okay, so in the last episode you saw me putting that new keel in. There's still a little bit more to go there, but uh, at least we're moving along. We didn't really get as much done as we wanted last week, but sometimes these things just can't be helped. Okay, so Cheryl and I have been sitting back reading your comments and I've got to say a lot of them we really enjoy. You guys are just getting into this project and it's it's so good to see. It's, it's good that we can you know, bring something that we're doing and, and basically give it to you so that you can enjoy watching it. This thing's all about teaching people that you can have a go at anything. You can do whatever you want in life. Like, and I know that there's people out there that can achieve so much more than they actually are. And we really love seeing it and we really encourage people doing that. You know, this, this project, it isn't about us, it's about it's about doing something, it's about getting out there, it's about en enjoying your talents, it's about showing people your talents, sharing some skill. Anyway, again, I just want to say thank you for being part of this project because it really means a lot to us. We want to make you feel like you're belo you belong to this project and this project is part of you. So just by you guys viewing it, it, it means a lot to us. It means we're, we're giving you something and we, we enjoy giving. I'm not going to give you cash. You're going to give me cash one day. Uh, just joking. Yeah, so take from this what you want. Um, we're happy for you to do that. We enjoy your comments, as I say. We just love reading them. Some of them, are, some of them have been really good. And um, I know, not only from the comments, but I know people personally who are watching our channel and they don't write comments, but they tell me what they think of it. And a lot of them have been saying some really good stuff. So to me, that's really good. Um, all right, well, I'll kick on with the episode and hopefully I'll get a little bit more footage out for you today. And um, I've got another episode for you to watch. Okay, so you can see here, this section here, that's the bulkhead between the forward cabin and the engine room. This is the whole material that I have to finish removing. And the reason I'm not cutting this all out, which would probably be easier, is because I want to maintain that curve. So what I'm going to do now is just wash this away with the gouger, just to clean it up up to this point. And I'm just going to remove this piece of um, pipe off here, which was uh, some sort of sensor. And then I've got to go across the other side and do exactly the same thing on the bulkhead over there. Once I've done that, I can square all these edges up, tidy them all up with the grinder and then I can start to think about putting new material in. I've still got to go along and square this edge up a bit. I've got a feeling it's out just a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I have to trim these stiffeners down a bit. I have to trim them back about that much so that when I weld through here, this weld is nowhere near this one. Because if I put all of this in the one area, it can create a little bit of a it can create a little bit of a weak point. So by, by cutting this section out, what you do is you move this weld back to here instead of here, and so you don't have that weld there. This also lets you weld all the way through and get really good penetration on this weld, which is where you really want the, where you really want the penetration. And also too, you get good penetration on these welds. So and then just weld down both sides of that stiffener and basically it's as strong as anything. Alright, so I've just got to get a tape and check this, make sure it's all okay and then I've got to come in with a grinder, tidy everything up a bit, cut these back as I said and then once I've cut all that back then I'm going to um, hit it with a plasma square that edge up and make it look very nice.
I don't like the look of that sky. I think I'm going to get beat out by rain again. All right, so I've changed my mind again. I was thinking about this last night and sometimes things aren't as always black and white as you want them to be. So because the plate for the hole comes straight out and then starts to bend, I'm not going to be able to replicate that bend very easily um, without something to form it up against. So what I think I'm going to have to do is put those Athortwood girders in the front. So those three little girders that I've cut out of the front section there now, I'm just going to put them in and then I'll bring the plate up to it and then I'll have to weld the plates up just so I can keep it flat on the bottom and then start that gradual curve. So instead of going the way around of just putting the sheet in like I was going to today, I've decided to make those girders up and then I'm just going to tack them in place and then bring the plates in, which probably won't be until next week or the week after. Um, yeah, so the simple reason with this is um, basically I need it, need it flat at the bottom and then I'm starting to curve up around the front of the bow there. So you can see that the bow starts to take a bit of a bent shape um, from the area there where I'm working. All right, I'll kick on, I'll get these I'll get these plates made up, I'll get them tacked into position. There's a little bit to do there because I've also got to put a stiffener across the top. I don't have to bend this one in the way that I did for the one underneath the engine, but nonetheless I've still got to do a little bit of work. So what this, what this piece of plate is here, this is the bit that I cut those girders out for the uh, engine room. So I'm just going to use this now as a little bit of a template to cut. Um, to cut these three out for in the front section there. So I'll make three of these up, I'll tack weld them in place or I'll, I'll weld them in place and then I'll work out where the rest of the sheet has to come through. Um, so a little bit of a process but we'll get there. It's actually going to work out quite well I think. All right so this is the basic shape of these girders that we're making. Um, so as I said, there's no cutout like there was on the ones that are going under the engine, but there will be a piece of flat bar put across the top there just for a bit of stiffener support. So I'm just going to trim this one out. I'll grind it up and then I'll, um, I'll trace the other ones out to suit to make them the same. One of these has to be just a little bit, um, just a little bit narrower than the others. I don't know why I'm working on the ground when I have a perfectly good bench there. Only dickheads and cockies work on the ground. So yesterday you saw me cutting out those girders. I actually got rained out and so I just threw, threw them in the back of the ute and brought them home. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly just weld them together and then so when I get back up to the boat I'll just weld them in place and get ready to put the new sheets in. Alright, here we go. So you saw me make these girders up up there, just at the base of the boat. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to tack these on here now and, um, yeah, and just put a bit of put a little bit of weld on there I don't want too much weld on there because I don't want them to pull so, there's three of them all told so we'll just knock them together now all right. so I'm actually using a smaller size electrode for this 
they're only a 2.5 millimeter whereas normally I use a 3.25 um, reason for that is it's is just a quick run over with a weld don't want to add too much heat doesn't need to be a 6 mil fillet all I want to do is seal these Alright, well that's all I've got time for this week. After work next week I'll install those and start getting ready to put the new plate in and hopefully I should have them in by the end of next week. Alright, well until then, be good and stay safe. Cheers. If you want to see how we moved the boat to this current location, just click this video here. And if you want to see where we got on from last week, just check this video out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe. Alright, thanks guys.